Hi everyone. In this video, I'll be showing you how to scan and patch the hosted virtual machines in your network. So, let's get started. Ivanti Security Controls can scan and patch the hosted virtual machines in your network, regardless of whether they are online or offline. The first step is to define your virtual machines in a machine group. This sample machine group currently contains one physical machine. Now, the recommended best practice is to create groups of similar machines, and some organizations may prefer to create a machine group that consists of nothing but virtual machines. But for this demo, I've included a physical machine in the group in order to point out that it is possible to include all machine types and to show how the program identifies the different machines. What this group doesn't currently have is a virtual machine and a virtual machine template. So let's add a couple that are hosted on a vCenter server. The Hosted Virtual Machines tab is used to add these machines. I'll be using a server that I logged onto earlier while preparing for this video. The server contains a nice mix of online and offline virtual machines, as well as a number of virtual machine templates. I will talk a bit more about the vCenter server at the end of this video. For now, let's add two virtual machines and a virtual machine template to our machine group. The virtual machines that I just added were automatically provided with browse credentials, the credentials used by the server to enumerate machines. You should also add administrator credentials. These are the credentials used to authenticate to the individual machine. Admin credentials are required for virtual machines during scans and deployments. Virtual machine templates are scanned using browse credentials, but admin credentials are required for patch deployments. Now, I don't know if the two virtual machines that I'm adding are currently online or offline, and I don't really care. Security controls will automatically handle both cases during the scan and deployment processes. To prove this, let's first run a power status scan on this group. As you can see, the physical machine and one of the virtual machines are both online while the other virtual machine and the virtual machine template are both offline. Security controls will be able to scan all four items regardless of their current power status. To perform the patch scan, I will use the Agentless Operation dialog. The Operations Monitor is launched automatically and is used to track the status of the scan. You view the results of virtual machine scans the same way as physical machine scans. The default view is Scan View, which can be used to review the results for all four items that were scanned. Note the unique icons that are used to identify the physical machine, the virtual machines, and the virtual machine template. Before deploying patches to a virtual machine, you should verify that your deployment template specifies the proper snapshot options. For example, this sample deployment template specifies that a snapshot should be taken of the virtual machine before any patches are deployed, and that any snapshots older than two days should be deleted. You initiate a patch deployment to a virtual machine or to a virtual machine template the same way you do to a physical machine, by using the right-click menu. It's what happens after you initiate the deployment, however, that is slightly different for physical machines versus virtual machines and virtual machine templates. When and where the program performs the deployment is largely dependent on where the virtual machine resides, the current power state of the virtual machine, and on whether you are performing an immediate or a scheduled deployment. 
Now, I won't go into all of the different nuances in this video, but if you are interested in the details, please refer to the help system. For now, I'll demonstrate the process by deploying a patch to one of our virtual machines. Here, I'll select the sample deployment template that we looked at earlier. And, as usual, the operations monitor will be launched automatically and will show the status of all the steps in the deployment process. Deployment results for virtual machines are viewed in the exact same way as physical machines. Let's close the operations monitor so I can provide some final points about the vCenter server that we used when adding the virtual machines and the virtual machine template to our machine group. The virtual inventory feature is used to manage and track the vCenter servers and the ESXi hypervisors that are used in your organization. The servers and hypervisors that are currently defined to security controls can be viewed by selecting the virtual inventory option in the selection box at the top of the navigation pane. This is where I originally added the vCenter server that is used in this video. You can see the hypervisor, the virtual machines, and the virtual machine templates that were shown earlier when we created our machine group. The virtual inventory feature provides many different capabilities, including the ability to scan and patch your hypervisors. For complete details about this feature, please see the help system. For more information about Ivanti Security Controls or any of our other products, see the other videos available on this channel or visit our product documentation page. Thanks for watching.